Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can do HTTP retries in C Sharp using a resilience library called Poly. So this is the GitHub project for Poly. You can go there and check it out. And we are going to talk about the policy on retry today. So here is the retry policy. Uh, to be able to demonstrate, I'm going to use a fake uh, API website called JSON Placeholder. So Essentially, if you go to the post, uh, it will just list the posts. So that's uh, the fake API. So let's uh, take a quick look at the current code I have. Current code is pretty much very straightforward. We get uh, HTTP client here and we go to that website, get all of the posts. If the, if the status is success, we uh, get all of the posts and I print out the first post title here. So if you uh, just want to take a quick look, I can run this project in debugger and uh, just kind of uh, show you what it is doing. So this is kind of a starting point which we will use to add poly. So here you can see it is uh, printing out on the terminal that it is making an HTTP get call and uh, we get a response so we can kind of step over that and you can see there is a response here is the response and i'm going to step over uh, this just to show you that it is a success code and here you is going to uh, read the response as a string and deserialize it and get all of the posts and it will print out the see here you can see it got the post the list of posts and this is like the first post for example and it's going to essentially print out the first post title and that's pretty much it so if you look at the output you can uh, usually uh, see what it is doing so let me just uh, go back and uh, run this without the debugger to show you the output here for example so this is in dotnet uh, core 2.0 it doesn't matter you can use the full framework as well so you can see it printed the making http get call and then it printed that information so that is all good. So let me just change this to a URL which doesn't exist to demonstrate. So I'm going to just change it to post one and show you the output here. And if you look at the output, it is not going to really print anything because there is no success status code in this case and it just does that. So let's say if this was the case and you wanted to retry uh, a particular um, call, how could you do that using poly and it's very easy. So let me just show you uh, and we will uh, write this code together. So you can create a policy variable and you can use policy. This is from the poly project. And let me see what it is saying. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. It's, it's already in there. So let's just, uh, okay. So it found the policy uh, project and we want to add a handler here and the handler is going to be for any exception and then I'm going to chain it to do an OR result if it's a handle exception case and let me uh, write this uh, chain this and write it in a better fashion here policy dot handle OR result and basically I want to do this so that uh, we get an HTTP response message HTTP uh, response message and where the result status code so basically if we get an exception or we get a response message which is not a success code we want to in this case retry and I'm going to use the retry async version of the method. So we can do the retry async and here it takes some arguments. The first one is the number of times you want to retry. So I'm going to retry it twice and you can uh, get 
some information about uh, why you are retrying so I'm going to call it the retry count here for example and in our case uh, all I'm going to do is uh, just console log the retry count so let me just add uh, some information here console dot right line and I'm just going to uh, do the retry count here so uh, I'm taking this variable making sure we print the value and that's what it is doing when if it retries so if you look at it, basically we have set up a policy, if there is an exception or the response code is not success, we want to retry at most two times. So that's how you want to apply this policy. So what you can do is you can apply this policy here uh, to uh, our call where we get a response. And uh, the best way to do that or easy way to do it, at, uh, I know, is to wrap our call. And to wrap that call, all you need to do is do an await on our policy that we created and uh, we uh, execute uh, uh, a method on it called execute async and then we can just essentially uh, supply an action here and which I'm going to do just in a second here and the action is uh, actually going to be very simple here it takes no parameters and so as you can see what I've done is all essentially uh, wrap this thing in uh, I will be waiting on the policy async and capture and I'm going to do the wrapping here uh, quickly let me see what's going on with the syntax here so I use the wrong method it should be the execute async method so uh, basically once I have created my policy I'm going to wrap my original call as an action here uh, under the execute async and as you can see it is going to try to reach this URL which doesn't exist so it should retry it twice so let me just uh, quickly run this and we can verify that uh, together so here you can see first time it prints making HTTP get call and then it retries one time and retries second time so you can see how easy it is to add retries and essentially if the, sta if, say, like the first time the status code was false it didn't succeed but the second time it succeeds you're all set so all you had to do is to add this policy here and wrap your uh, actual async call and you're all set and this is uh, actually a very good way to add retries to your HTTP requests and you can use uh, one of the policies in poly and in future uh, tutorials I'm going to uh, talk about all these other policies as well and I'm going to put this video under C sharp retries with poly and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.